while back, we got confirmation from Disney and from Bob Iger that it would be getting a third Frozen film in the future. And at the time, despite me having a few misgivings about it in general, I think everybody was able to see that it made a whole lot of financial sense. After all, the first one broke box office records in terms of animated films, and then the second one casually did the same thing. Both grossing well over a billion dollars in gross revenue at the box office, both were in award contention, and presumably sold a whole bunch of toys and merch. And since they were released like seven or so years apart, they continued to grow the scope of the franchise as they sucked in brand new generations of kiddies to watch it on repeat on Disney+. And of course, to beg their parents for just all the merch. Lunchboxes, toys, costumes, posters, albums, you name it, they sell it. And the public buys it. This is a mega franchise at this point, and so whilst I think creatively I'm a little bit apprehensive about the film, especially since the overall quality of Disney animated films has been on the downturn in my opinion, at least from a story perspective, after all, I felt already by the end of the second movie, the well had run completely dry. And so I was a bit surprised to read the other day that back in November, Bob Iger had once again come out with some news about the future of the franchise, and that not only are there plans for a third film, but they're going to be making a fourth film. And I was pretty surprised I hadn't heard this before, I thought it would be bigger news. But yeah, I googled it and saw articles and whatnot that suggest that it is indeed in the works, and I'm pretty sure Deadline is one of those websites that's considered very reliable. And I feel like you just couldn't get away with quoting Bob Iger as confirming it unless it was legit anyway, so yeah, Frozen 4 is in the works even though it seems like Frozen 3 is barely in development as of right now. But I guess that's showbiz, right? And I don't know, I think I'm a little bit mixed on it as of right now. From a business point of view, this is obviously the right move. Once again, the Frozen franchise is a big box office draw. There are not that many films that can almost certainly cross the billion dollar gross mark. But films like this, which are a proven hit with audiences that have captivated multiple generations at this stage, it's clearly going to sell tickets like No Tomorrow. And if you space out the releases, I mean, you could milk this thing for another two generations, a full decade minimum. I mean, that's what Toy Story did. And I mean, Frozen did it too in the 2010s, and then they're going to do it again here. Say Frozen 3 releases sometime in 2025, 26, 27, that's still ages from the release of Frozen 2. And so if you apply that logic again to 3 to 4, that's a whole lot of generations sucked in by this. You have the OG Frozen 1 people, then the newbies for Frozen 2 that came in, then you've got the new audience for Frozen 3, and then a new one for 4, and you combine them all together. Obviously, some people will bleed off it, but a lot of those older fans are going to come back for the nostalgia factor. It just feels like a box office goldmine. And like I said, that's just the box office. Think of the merch. The merch! There's huge money to be made here, either for that long-term sustained success, or a massive cash infusion to make the profits look very good for the shareholders. Either way, big business on the horizon. But then, on the other hand, I am a little bit concerned about the creative side of things. Yes, the franchise is likely always going to do well at the box office regardless of quality, but that only matters to Disney. What I want is a good movie to watch. I don't care if it's a commercial smash, because if I think the film's bad, I've wasted my time. Box office only indicates success, it's not necessarily quality. Otherwise, the Fast and the Furious franchise should be considered among the goats of cinema. But as I said, whilst the announcement of a Frozen 4 could have filled me with more pause, as I do think creatively the second film stagnated, and I'm worried the third might have as well, with a confirmed fourth film in the works, it does make me think that perhaps they have a longer story they want to tell through 3 and 4, a whole new arc. It's kind of like how Kung Fu Panda is confirmed to have a new trilogy. One that's more interconnected than what we've seen previously. And I'm really hyped for that because the implication is that the wider story of the trilogy is already planned out, rather than creative flying by the seat of their pants. And so with the announcement of two Frozen films in short succession, it makes me think that this might be the same deal. That they're going to plan the franchise with that story in mind, a two-parter story. And thus potentially they're going to have a more robust narrative that feels fresh and unique compared to what they've done before. And then you combine that with the fact that the animation will be great and that Frozen always has a number of really top tier songs. And it seems like we're staring down the barrel of a very successful decade. Or at least as far as Frozen's concerned. But this in turn, it makes me wonder, is Disney getting a bit nervous? Are they getting spooked by the recent box office returns on their major animated films? Because here's what we know. We know Pixar's bringing back Toy Story. And we have Inside Out 2 coming as well, which very well could turn into yet another Pixar mega franchise at the box office. I honestly think it will. I think we're going to see Inside Out 3 and 4. But, you know, that's just speculation right now. We also know that Disney's making a third and fourth Frozen, as we've discussed here. And they're also bringing back Zootopia. So that's four big time franchises. Four billion dollar franchises. Their most successful films of this modern era. 
and their most lucrative ones too. All of these franchises feature in the top 10 highest grossing animated films of all time. So it very much feels like a break glass in case of emergency type of deal. But they're not breaking it one by one and using that to stimulate growth and maybe draw interest to their newer projects. They're doing it all at once, which makes me wonder, are they worried? They'll never go bankrupt, let's not be ridiculous. But I'm sure it's really not a good look for their big flagship animation studios to have multiple box office fails. Their 100th anniversary film, Wish, that was a huge box office bomb. A very embarrassing look for the company. Strange World, their latest attempt at sci-fi, which historically never does well, was both boring and bad and an even worse box office bomb. And before that, they had Encanto, which did very well and was very good, but its success was mostly on Disney+, Plus digitally. It was hamstrung by COVID, so it didn't end up as the box office smash that it would have in different times. So that takes us all the way back to 2021, and then there was Raya, which was also during COVID and thus digital, so no box office. And then before that, it was Frozen 2, which was their last huge commercial hit. So I can see why they're going back to the well. It's almost been five years, and that was the last time they really blew up the box office. Not great if I'm being honest. Those are some pretty bad stats. And so, if I was Disney, I'd be pretty eager for a string of successful releases if I'm the powers that be. And it's the same old story with Pixar too. Turning Red had a limited release, I think. And it was mostly digital, so there was no real money on the box office there. Lightyear was very, very bad. Like, how the hell was Pixar even making a film like that? It was the worst major Pixar film for me. I mean, stuff like Cars 2 is bad and sucks, but it was clear from the get-go that Cars 2 was a cash grab for toy money. This was just bad, and kind of damaged a really important character in Buzz Lightyear. And then on top of that, it bombed. And then you have Elemental, which also bombed hard in the US, only for South Korea to randomly save the day and give it a marginally respectable gross. But regardless, those are not the numbers that Pixar was getting off its original content even just 10 years ago. And so it seems like we're back to an era of sequels and franchises dominating the box office and release schedule, at least from an animated perspective. Or rather, at least as far as Disney Pixar is concerned. But this does make me wonder, what happens next? Are they still going to be able to churn out some originals at the same time? Will successful and good sequels give them a bit of momentum and allow some of their other more original stuff to get a foot in the door? I really hope so. Because the 2010s really were a golden age for animation. All the major studios were releasing hits, both critical and commercial, and lots of money was being made all around. Records were broken every second year it felt like. But now, it feels like for Disney, the gravy train has dried up somewhat. And whilst they're still going strong overall, it would be a bit concerning I think. Kind of reminds me of the Disney Star Wars sequel debacle, where the trilogy really sucked. It was still profitable, but it sucked and everyone hated it and hated on it. But a massive amount of hate. And this led to Lucasfilm rapidly pivoting and making really top tier TV shows for Disney+, Plus, which turned things around as far as public perception was concerned. Now people are really excited for Star Wars content. Is that what we're gonna see here? Will these massive financial successes back to back and also hopefully good quality films back to back rehabilitate Disney's image? Will they make people excited to see Disney and Pixar films in the cinema again? Or on the other hand, will it create an over-reliance on sequels and franchises which can in turn hurt the company's future prospects when they try to make something fresh? Because I kind of think that's what happened with Pixar a little bit. They had a whole heap of sequels back to back to back and it conditioned the audience to want more of that. I mean, I think there were probably other factors in play, but that's a big one. And I guess only time's going to tell, but now I'll throw it to you guys. Do you think Disney's making the right call here? Do you think they can turn it around? Maybe not. I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.